James Blundell. Yay. <laughs> Volumes on love, I've heard it all before. A symphony calliope, a whisper and a hero. You have murmured to my heart, call my name out loud. You gone down on bended knee and thrown me to the ground. Love don't speak to me no more. Love don't you speak to me no more. No more. Love don't speak to me no more. And there ain't nothing you could do. Wouldn't make me change my mind Your tongue is cruel, I bought your rules You still treat me so unkind I carry you, you carry on until your next collapse Love's not speaking to you anymore. <laughs> Thank you. There you are. Some, uh, I, someone can take the guitar so you don't have to hurt well, There you that. go. There you are. Thanks, David. <laughs> Man, I Who's love your shots. The plug was on the telly. Thank you. <laughs> Bouncing along. Thank you, man. That's very cool. They're good band, aren't they? I love them. That's always good fun, don't they? Yeah. Now, that's off that CD. But first, can I talk about the Olympic Land Care? Because you're involved with that. Yep, yep. Olympic Land Care is uh, this massive... Um, the word I'm saying, th uh, you know, when you have a, a, a vision and a plan yeah. that they need to get a million trees into the ground in a, in a five day period from the 5th of August to the 11th or a six day period. A million trees. Pretty wild when you think about it. There's yeah. uh, 500 official sites around Australia that yeah. they're planting 2,000 trees at each. Each site is dedicated to an athlete, either Olympian or a Paralympian. Yes. But above and beyond that, local groups that aren't at a recognised site or a. Can an official, still do their absolutely. own, can't they? And they've just got to get in touch and. 
The trees are two dollars. Is that right? Well, I, that part of it I haven't heard. All I know is that they're supposed to be indigenous trees. They're supposed yep. to be uh, Gums naturals. And everything. Absolutely. Yep. But the the people that aren't near a site, can I do the number? Yes, please. One eight hundred eight double nine triple four. Man, I can remember it. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I'm dyslexic and I'm not having a good time with numbers, but that's the go right. right. But you go on. Go ahead. No, go on. You were going <laughs> to keep going. But the thing is that uh, they put in, they had a million trees in over the last 12 months. Yes. And this this will bring it up to two million trees in a 24 month period. And coming from a background of, of living in the sticks prior to getting involved I in know, music, I know you know all about. Well, the soil thing is, and... yeah, we, we grew up first of all like the the, the tree huggers and the greenies were people that you're going, oh, you're ruining our existence. But there's a much greater understanding now that. Uh, the symbiotic nature of, of environment and productivity has to be really addressed, you know, and as a, as a nation... You can't keep uh, deplenishing the soil exactly right. without doing harm. Exactly right. And, uh, you know, the people in the sticks are, are fully aware of that now and are far more mm. supportive of it. Well, even with the waterways, they're getting those all clean and doing that, which it's is totally. fantastic. And erosion's a shocker. But also, the other thing, with the uh, benefit of a bit of world travel, is that you realise that, you know, as someone said, that trees are the lungs of the planet. It's, uh, it's, a, re it's a very real statement. It's no longer an ideological issue. It's actually the, the, the real it's, thing. It's what we need, uh -huh. and we've got to put them back. They were there in the beginning, exactly. now we've got to put them back. <laughs> yeah. 400 million years ago, pre-dinosaurs pre trees, apparently. So how long... Can we get it fixed? In... Well, this is the thing I find about Australia. I think uh, it's, it's acknowledged that we're in a fixable situation. Some nations aren't. Yeah. Uh, we, we can turn ourselves around with a fairly concerted effort over a period of 20 or 30 years. We can basically yeah. repair what we've taken 200 years to undo, yeah. which is pretty amazing. And not too many people have that have that ability. You know? Yeah, the oceans and the trees and That's our right. waterways. And don't throw your butts down, please, because they go into the <laughs> out to the sea, and then all the little fishies and things eat them. Choke them. Yep. Now this is Amsterdam breakfast. We've talked about it before. It's still available. And I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and hello to you. How, what's your son's name? His name is Briar Harley Blundell. B R I A R. That's you it. Have to what's spell the it. Harleys? Well, it's Fantastic. just. I reckon if you give him a bit of character, he's going to turn into something worthwhile. <laughs> 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 he has to grow into that name. Yeah. Okay. Please thank James Blundell for the moment, and don't forget uh, go and get some trees and. Fifth of the eleventh of August. Go planting seeds, trees. Get into it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>